Hey guys, it's John, here with a game called One Night at Flumpty's, and yes, this is a Five Nights at Freddy's inspired fan game, however, it's the one fan game I keep hearing good things about, so I figured I'd check it out. Um, I've heard that it's actually pretty well made, and uh, not like a lot of the other fan games, plus it's one night, so yeah, let's uh, see what it's all about. Probably you've seen this on another channel, but... Figured I'd upload it anyway. I know there's a sequel that just came out, so... <laughs> what? I've never seen any gameplay footage or anything, so I don't know. I'm an egg. I'm immune to the plot, and I can transcend time and space. Also, I'm coming after you. You can figure out the rest. Have fun. Okay, cool. So this is Flumpty. Ah, shit! Where'd he go? Somewhere around here, right? I guess we'll, we'll never be able to see what's in that camera. In that room. Hey, he's already fucking there! Shit! <laughs> new dork rhymes. Well, that thing looks terrifying. I'm glad it's got a newspaper up. You should be watching the cameras. Fuck. He's already... Fuck! <laughs> Where'd he go? He's gone. That's good. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool so far. Look at all this copyright infringement we have in our office. Right away I see McDonald's, Donkey Kong, Gatorade, Winnie the Pooh, Dr. Mario. There's also a pile of shit in the corner and a <laughs> presumably human brain. Oh, he's surprised! He looks so happy! Something tells me... Dude, I'm gonna watch the fuck out. I don't know what to do. Where you go? Where is he? Oh, he's back here. <laughs> huh. These guys... Hands on his hips. Oh, I'm stumped. How do I get in there? Oh, we got a refined gentleman over on the right. Oh, okay. You can just stay out there for a little while. Oh! Hey, Flumpty. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? It's only 1 a.m.? Shit. I don't know if we're gonna make it to 6 a.m. you guys. Man, seeing Winnie the Pooh disemboweled is really disturbing. Poor guy. Never even stood a chance. Oh hey, we're fine gentlemen. I don't even know what to call him. Mr. Battle Block Theater over there. Yep. How we doing here? Where is Flumpy? There he is. He's way over there. Is there anything else we need to watch out for? Just these two guys? Does it change as the night goes on? This is actually really cool. I don't know what all this shit is. Is this like Foxy? We should probably periodically check it then. I'm guessing it's a Foxy knockoff. Let's see, what else we got in here? We got underwears, cactus. A bra. You know, I think it's kind of weird that there's a bra and also, like, kitty underwear in here. It's perplexing. I don't know, where, where is Flumpty? Oh, he's back there. His refined gentleman friend is over here, though. There's also a map of Utah. Yeah. How we doing? How we doing? There's Flumpty. <laughs> Dude. Uh, okay, we're, we're over halfway on power. Fuck! Get out of there, dude! Where'd he go? There. Okay, good. They're both back. They're both back. Cool. Well, Flumpty's not anymore. He's already over here. <laughs> no. Stay away, sir! There's also a dog. Which is a poodle. I'd be hard pressed to call a poodle a dog. 
Not really. Had to check the foxy uh, eyes. I don't know what the hell those things are. Are they like little eggs? Like, are those Flumpty's children? How does an egg procreate? It would make sense that the offspring are more eggs. Oh my god, this is... Fuck. Whoa, oh! What was that? That was like a gopher. Where'd that thing come from? Was he on the... Oh! What? Oh, uh, we were supposed to watch him? Well then what's with the... What's with the eyes, dude? Oh my god. You gotta make it to 6 a.m.? Makes sense. It is a Five Nights at Freddy's inspired game. They're both here. <laughs> I don't like it. He's still there! Go away! Dude, I don't have time for you right now. Stop it. Okay, good, he's gone. Oh my god. So, so what's going on over here? They're messing with my cameras. <laughs> no! You stay away, you round thing, you. Not round in a pleasant way. Like boobs. Round in a disturbing way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just talking. I'm getting into this shit. Oh, hi, refined gentleman. What is this thing? That wasn't there before. What is that? What is all this? There's too many characters. What? I don't think so. The clown is coming out. How do I make it not come out? Good. You know. What do I do about the clown? He's got, he's got like one hand through. Like, what do I do about it? Is it because of this? Am I not checking that enough? Oh no, he's got another hand. What do I do? How do I, how do I get? There's also a key on the desk. No. Maybe it's like whenever I, br it seems like whenever I bring the camera up, he comes through a little bit more. So I gotta be more careful. I'm at 5 a.m., guys. Oh shit. Don't bring up the camera anymore. It seems like that makes me in trouble. Really the only thing I have to worry about now is like the gopher, right? Because he's like foxy. Ah! I'm not bringing up the camera, so you're just gonna have to stay inside the wall there. Fuck, what is that thing? I don't like it. Okay, guys. Almost at 6 a.m. <laughs> this is always the worst part. When, like, you've been at 5 a.m. for a little while, and you feel like you've got it down, you've got everything right. I feel be much better that way. Crap. Can't have both doors closed. I'll run out of power. Good. First try. Did it first try. It says ham. <laughs> it says... Ah! That was fun. Starring Flumpty Bumpty. Birthday Boy Blam. Oh, he's a beaver, not a gopher. The red man. Like the purple man. Grunkfuss the clown. So he was the one who was coming through the wall. 
Golden Flumpty? I didn't see Golden Flumpty. The end. That was fun. Okay, um, so I beat it, but we're gonna play it again. Because I want to see... I want to see what happens to, like, if you die. So this is definitely, like... He comes up if, if the cameras are... I'm sorry, is this, is this like a Markiplier reference? I'm just saying, man. No need for that. Okay, let's just let uh, Flumpty kill us. I'll see what he's like first. This is actually really interesting. I, I enjoyed this. It's good that it's one night, too, because, like, I played, like, Five Nights at Treasure Island and... Well, what other spin-offs have I played? I guess that's it, but I've seen other ones, and it's like, five nights of this, really? But like, this is actually really cool. It's, uh, highly stylized. Like, I like the cartoony graphics, it's really neat. And like, you know, all the other, uh, FNAF spin-offs that I've seen. And I'm sure there's more out there that tried to do something like this, but, uh, they all, like, try to look a lot like Five Nights at Freddy's. Like... But this actually looks like, you know... Cartoon World! It's pretty, pretty cool. What is the deal with this? Oh, so he, he is like Foxy, the beaver. Come and kill me, it's 1am already. You slacker, where are you? You egg-shaped motherfucker. All right, we'll, we'll let this guy kill us. I'm interested. So, this was uh, this was fairly easy for me because it functions very similarly to Five Nights at Freddy's. How long do you have to... Oh, they're both here. Which one's gonna kill me? Do they, do they actually kill you? Is it possible to lose? It has to be. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? That's cool. Game over easy. Uh... Anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys th thought about this in the comments, because... Uh, like many of you, I'm not really into the FNAF spin-off games. But I think this one's actually pretty cool. Like, it's good. It's good for for a one-time play, I think. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and play it for hours and try to get Golden Flumpty to appear or anything. If he does, it's cool, but, you know. It's more of a kind of gag, gag play, I guess. Man, but this is like head and shoulders above Five Nights at Treasure Island, if you ask me. <laughs> Man, that game. I played, like, I think I played the first two nights or something. And, like, and that's supposed to be one of the better spin-offs, so... I was really disappointed. I'll just sit here and talk to you guys. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know, there are a lot of channels that are, like, even exclusively playing... Five Nights at Freddy's or Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. I just don't get it. Like, I've. Like, wouldn't you get bored? I mean, like, not every spin off game is gonna be like this. I don't know. Eventually, the fat is gonna wear off, too, because unlike the. Uh, unlike all the hopefuls out there, I'm fairly certain there's not gonna be a Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Because there really shouldn't be. And all signs point to. The third one being the final one. Everything down to the hat on the stage on scottgames.com. I don't- we've already seen you. I don't want you to kill me. Let's have, uh, let's have Flumpty kill me. Go ahead, dude. But, uh, you know, then again, Scott did have the- Have the, like, the Final Set Freddy's 3 hacked edition come out, so... He does like playing pranks. Still. Oh, shit! That was terrifying. Yeesh! Okay, well that was fun. I just wanted to see a couple of the deaths. So, uh, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Think critically.